Climate change is transforming the agricultural industry in Europe. It is changing seasons, aggravating environmental problems and introducing new species. The climate crisis directly affects our food systems and is threatening the survival of people worldwide. In some places, these problems are being greeted with the solutions as the industry is being forced to adapt to a changing climate, while in other places, the transition to adaptation is not an option. Resources are scarce and the result is the loss of culture, food and the ability to survive. In Romania, the seasons are changing and the weather patterns have shifted. Currently in Romania, severe weather events are more frequent. In 2005, flooding isolated the people of Sassel Mountain and ice rain destroyed the harvest. In Italy, climate change is affecting biodiversity and introducing new species. Nella cittadina di Goro, una di queste specie, la vongola filippina, ha salvato l'economia locale. Gli abitanti hanno cominciato ad allevare questo nuovo tipo di vongola che ha attecchito molto bene e quasi tutti i contadini sono diventati vongolari. Oggi Goro è un paese ricco, ma i metodi di raccolta della vongola distruggono i fondali marini e la pesca abusiva, qui molto comune, minaccia la biodiversità. Warmer temperatures in Sweden could provide favorable climates for new species. Winemakers in the country are noting increasing possibilities of successful wine production. From 1960 till 1990 så var det 800 gårdagar ungefär genomsnitt här i Malmö. Och nu ligger det ungefär på 1000 gårdagar om man mäter från 2000 fram till 2009. Och det är, det är då en stor skillnad för man säger att det krävs 1000 gårdagar för att göra ett ett riktigt bra vin. Changes are also being felt in the Fairness Mountains of Norway. The alpine meadows are disappearing and biodiversity is declining. Of course that will be a big change for the cultural landscape in this area and even greater change for the more alpine and polar species that also live in over mountains like reindeers. This loss of biodiversity is accelerated by the model of agro-industrial activity concentrated in the valleys that require transport between major places of production and consumption. In Norway, I think 70-80% of the cereal production is used for animal fodder and it has to be transported some distance and you have a breakdown of organic matter and a transport of nutrients with the fodder to the animal production areas. According to Mr. Halton, more environmentally friendly farming would keep open landscapes. This would ensure greater biodiversity, enhance carbon sequestration in soil, while allowing the local economy to adapt to climate change. Ole Jakob Christensen from the organization La Via Campesina says a shift of values must take place. We think in a very close of liberalism economic Alors, euh, si on ne trouve pas les solutions dans le marché, il faut chercher ailleurs. Et je pense euh, qu'il faut euh, chercher vers des solutions comme la décroissance euh, dans le pays riche, un autre, manière de, de, un autre niveau de consommation.
In the Netherlands, sustainable solutions are being developed. At the Grønne Valley School, students are taught how to become a sustainable agrarian. They are breeding tilapia fish, and the manure in which rainwater is used to fertilize gerberas. In the great areas, as in Indonesia, where a lot of tuinbouw op het ogenblik gebouwd wordt, zeg maar, and ook apart heel veel visteelt is, nou ja, daar is de combinatie natuurlijk ook weer een mogelijkheid om een hoop veiligheid te vermijden. Ja, nu gaat, gaan al die afvalstoffen van die vissen, dat, dat, dat gaat zo de natuur in. Mm -hmm. Als je dat dan kunt gebruiken voor, voor het bemesten van je voedselgewassen, dan geeft dat daar natuurlijk ook een geweldige impuls aan, aan, aan de duurzaamheid en aan het schoonhouden van de, van de omgeving.